World Banking and Finance Review Awards highlight the innovation, achievement, strategy, progressive and inspirational changes taking place within the global financial community. The awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes who've excelled in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time, we're pleased to offer awards to technology leaders Diebold Nixdorf. Diebold Nixdorf works with financial institutions across the globe to offer banking solutions which are more personalized, more accessible, more secure, more convenient, more flexible and more consistent across all channels. Diebold Nixdorf has evolved to meet those requirements and to collaborate as a strategic committed partner for the client's transformation journey. Powered by Diebold Nixdorf's All Connect services and their dynamic software, DN works with financial institutions in over 130 countries with the aim to build more personal connections. These days, it's about connecting each person to what they need and when they need it. Global Banking is pleased to offer Diebold Nixdorf an award for Best Banking Technology Solutions Provider Europe 2024. Also, an award for Excellence in Innovation Banking Technology Solutions Provider Europe once again for 2024. We were glad to welcome the company's Vice President of Banking Europe, Helena Muller, to receive the awards. And later, I took the opportunity to talk to her more about the success of the company. Helena Muller, welcome to London and uh, so good to talk to you. Congratulations, of course, on uh, the awards from Global Banking and Finance. Thank you so much. I'm honoured to be here and to receive the award. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, the operation of your, your company, if we may. Uh, and of course, we know, I think everybody knows now, that technology is transforming uh, the world of banking and the banking industry. Um, what do you see as the role of, of Diebold Nixdorf playing in that transformation? Yes, as we know, the market has been evolving for a pretty long time now. And uh, we, as a technology supplier, we take the responsibility to serve and be a partner for the financial institutions in their journey of transformation. So we see some of the markets that are moving into ATM pooling, which is a totally different journey than when you take the decision to move into recycling and using the notes in a recycling mode. When you say ATM pooling, what does that mean exactly? ATM pooling, uh, we understand it's a utility model. So several financial institutions, they partner up in order to deliver one service for ATM services into the market. Well, obviously that is just part of giving a, a good service to clients and customers. How do you ensure that the, the service you provide is absolutely seamless and painless for, for clients and customers? For Diebold Nixdorf, it's key to connect the technology also with intelligent software, which allows also the service to be available uh, to the end users. Main focus is actually to, to serve the end users in their journey and feel that the ATM channel is a part of their other uh, payment uh, transactions. Now, I think most people know, particularly here in the UK, that many bank branches are disappearing thanks to technology and the fact that everything is being streamlined. Uh, some people regret it, some don't. Uh, in your opinion, what would you say the, the future of the physical bank branch is and how is Diebold Nixdorf uh, actually supporting those transitions and changes? I believe that the end user is the main driver for, for the transformation and so also for the, the branches. Uh, I think we will see that the branches will decline, continue to decline, but in the same time also it's important to connect the digital and the physical uh, transaction for the end users and the end users will like to feel uh, recognized within the ATM channel as well as in the digital payment. So for us it's important to connect these two, two uh, worlds with each other and to serve our financial institutions with good solutions. And taking that a stage further, uh, obviously the average person using a banking facility uh, either as a business or as an individual, how can you make sure uh, that uh, that is seamless and people don't miss the old-fashioned techniques? Well, it, it will all uh, be driven by innovations and we will see different kind of new technologies coming up into the market and the ATM channel will also adopt to these payment formats 
Today end users are used to use the card uh, at the ATM, but it might also evolve to the mobile payments and uh, mobile transactions on the ATM. So um, also going to the branch uh, closures or transformations. Also here the end user will drive what kind of services and what kind of touch points they want to see in the market. What about the resilience and reliability? I mean, obviously there are sometimes in some companies uh, faults which cause complete blackouts and so on. How, how do you ensure that things are smooth in that particular area? Yeah, the topic around resiliency is at for sure at the forefront. So I think this is included in all strategies uh, today, also for the future. And we need to keep in mind that we have the resilience concept around all services uh, for the financial institutions moving forward. This is for sure within the future strategy, uh, very important. Of course, sustainability is a kind of a watchword at the moment, in every way and in every industry. Uh, how is that increasing focus on sustainability shifting the ways Diebold and Nixdorf playing in that transformation? So looking into also the strategic uh, work and the importance of sustainability, um, here financial institutions take care of the cost efficiency. This is also where we deliver uh, the services at the same time to look to the end users to make sure that everybody is included in the um, possibility to pay. So the sustainability um, for financial institutions will cover one on the cost effectiveness but also to include everybody uh, as an end user to be able to pay. And would that be very much the policy do you think of uh, Diebold Nixdorf as well? For Diebold Nixdorf, it has been really important to make sure that the equipment that we manufacture and produce, uh, also source parts that we're sourcing, that they follow the concept of uh, sustainability. Uh, also to assure that we have less power consumption, uh, also that we assure that we are using more intelligent um, uh, technology to assure that the manufacturing parts are uh, delivered in a better capacity. And that way you can ensure better sustainability. Um, let's look at some of the services you provide. Uh, and I know there are many. Uh, one that I read about was uh, DN Dynamic Software, which sounds very impressive, and I, it probably is. So do tell us a little bit about this. How does this actually enhance the banking experience for customers and clients? So we're very proud of, of launching the Dynamic uh, uh, software suite and uh, this is in order to connect the customer journey across channels in a more uh, seamless way and also to assure that they have a good um, uh, way of uh, creating their journey internal at the financial uh, institutes but also for the end user. All right. Well, it's, it's excellent to get just that one particular item a, a, as an overview, but obviously there are other technical, uh, technological advancements as well. What do you see as being the important technological advancements uh, in the future of banking? And how will your company, Diebold Nixdorf, actually deal with that? So I think the main driver will actually be the end user driving uh, technology and also the demand for sustainable solutions. So we as a technology supplier, we have to address our solutions according to that, those requests. So exciting times ahead then. In the meantime, thank you, Helena, for coming to talk to us today in London. And once again, congratulations on the awards from Global Banking and Finance. Thank you so much.